According to the governor's office, there's been no change of mind, but as people say, a new plan is in the works. The governor's office has confirmed that they're talking with Disney about a new deal between the company and the state. In a statement, his office wrote in part, quote, we will have an even playing field for businesses in Florida, and the state certainly owes no special favors to one company. Disney's debts will not fall on the taxpayers of Florida. A plan is in the works and will be released soon. Republican State Representative Randy Fine says there are some changes that could be part of the new agreement. We actually granted Disney the power of eminent domain back when this deal was originally done. Whether you're a conservative or a liberal, I don't believe anyone thinks a private company should be able to take your house. I think that's something that would probably go away. The second thing we did is we said in the 60s that Disney as a private company had the right to issue government debt. I think as a matter of public policy, whether you're a liberal or a conservative, that's not a good idea. The state legislature voted to dissolve Disney's special tax district after a feud between Governor DeSantis and then Chief Executive Bob Chapek over the state's recently passed Parental Rights and Education Bill. Opponents call it the Don't Say Gay Bill. Democrat State Senator Linda Stewart says Disney's important to the state's economy and this needs to get resolved soon. Disney provides a huge tax base for us here in Central Florida and throughout the state and that we want to continue to welcome um, the visitors here and because it's beneficial to not just Central Florida but the entire state. We haven't gotten any response yet from Disney. In Orange County, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.